into the meta. And I mean, we saw, I, I believe it was Benny Cutie play the carry yesterday. Um, brought carry out. I don't, I, it didn't perform well in the early game, but if you allow it to have the time to, to get the item you need, carry's actually pretty scary. So yep. that's a good answer over there. Yeah, and legend has it that we, this is Iaknu in the carry. <laughs> yeah, I think this he just mentioned trio. it last week. Uh, sorry, last exactly. game. Exactly. This, these are the heroes that Iaknu lives for. Iaknu likes this. So the only problem that you have now is that there's really no solution for the Aldus. Yeah, Apart from, of, of course, the carry can eventually take down the Aldus, but... <laughs> That's a great strategy, you know? What is all we can do about this guy? Let's just kill him right away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number two here. RSG versus Blacklist. Will RSG be able to get a win and take it to game three? Or will Blacklist end this one for RSG? Yeah, how to stop Aldus? We'll have to find that out later. Maybe they can show us a bit of a recipe here, because so far in the league, not very few people have actually been able to stop yeah. the all just once it gets back gets on the map. I yeah. remember someone, uh, someone named Chubby Chub Chub, is <laughs> Chubby Chub Chub. celebrating his birthday apparently, and he wants to be noticed. Oh, shout out to Chubby Chub Chub! Happy birthday to Chubby you, man. Chub. Guy on Twitter, very active. Oh, shout yeah? out, shout out to you! Happy birthday! And uh, one thing I was going to mention too, you guys said RSG needs a hero that uh -huh. can check the bushes for them. I think Clue yeah. is a pretty good choice there uh, and can set them up for some good team fights or even skirmishes. Yeah, later, you know what? Some on. people would say he's one of the best heroes to yeah. do that. Because <laughs> you can't really kill him right away. And you don't want to go near the guy. Like, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, you try to stay away from the glue as much as possible. I think that's the running thing here. Now for Blacklist, I am actually surprised that they are attempting a little bit of a fight here on top side. Uh oh, Very wise. characteristic. Coming in, he's in trouble. He has to get out. He does actually survive though, but now Iaknu's there. Here comes Wise. He's right on top of him. Iaknu flickers out, still alive. Ooh, my wow, God. nice save by Heath, and here comes Aqua oh, joining the clutch. fight. Gets the stun off, and that's going to be a first blood going over to Aqua. Nice play, RSG. Wow, that was a very Super aggressive topside push punch. there for Blacklist. Like, literally by the hair of their skin and teeth, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, Aqua with the response there to help out a bad situation. So, again, RSG, you know, early game, they, they this is usually how it plays out. And we'll want to see them if they can actually continue the momentum and take it into the mid, well, hopefully not the late game, because of what... Blacklist International brought here to this game number two. Yep, quite even right now on gold, and that means their early games are, again, if you are a bit even here at this point, you don't really want that as an Algis, with the Algis player on the opposite end. Yep, look at now, he's Red trying to do his best to stop the them getting the turtle, but it's going to be secured by Wise. Not much he could have done there. Yep. And uh, again, can Nasty get out of this one. He's got to flick her out. Here comes Wise, popping off the damage. Doesn't have enough stacks yet. Still trying his best, and that's going to be a kill right there going over to Haji on Kadita. That was Kadita. explosive. It was you know what? Explosive. This is what I was worried about last game. You put Haji on the stationary hero, mm -hmm. it doesn't suit his personality. But now on the Kadita, who actually is like a, a mage and acts like an assassin, you've got yeah. a better chance of him performing. Exactly. What I do like about RSG though is that they really are doing a great job, like um, knowing how to babysit Iaklo in the gold lane. It's probably one thing that they have been doing correctly in their previous series. And so far, Iaklo doing having a great job at it. Unfortunately, this is Blacklist International's comfort composition, I would say. Yeah, I would say it's pretty comfy <laughs> yeah. for Blacklist. Yeah. A little bit of tweaks here and there, but yeah, yeah it's a, in essence, they, it does what exactly they want it to, right? And that is to give just a lot of room for heroes uh, like Kimmy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Great pick Mighty off. Pick, but that's going to actually go over to Heath. And uh, again, they need time for this carry to really come together. Yeah. But one thing that Blacklist International also has in their favor is just speed. The, I mean, paired with uh, Oheb on the Kimmy, and then you throw in a, a Rafaela with the speed buff, it, it's going to be hard to catch who they need to with Oheb. And on top of that, Oheb even has a, a sprint. In yeah. fairness, both teams kind of want time, right? Not, not just RSG at this point. 
But Ooh, RSG, I think they will scale a lot better as well. Like, at least until mid-game, because late-game, like, it's common sense that Aldous is going to serve. <laughs> He's going to dominate, yeah. but RSG has a very strong mid-game spike. They could take advantage of that and get another advantage here over Black. Oh, switch lane, Nats as well as Iaknu. As There's no more, like, oh, Gold Dane Siege uh, minions. But Blacklist International, so easy uh, turtle thing for them. Yep. There we go. The turtle the slain again. Demon Kai's in trouble. Blue Gets absolutely destroyed by the damage. Haji getting out as well. And again, this is the power of the team composition that Blacklist has. And I mean, they have the objective lead now as well. Yep. Bit of a slow tempo here for Demon Kite, not as fast as we saw in the early game. Early game. Yep, and here's the three versus three, but hold on, Haji coming from the back, he's looking for something. Wise getting really Red low, gets finally Zero taken out. Naz with the kill, but they're not done yet. Blacklist International, they could. Oh! Gets taken down by Kimmy on the oh Oheb. My God. Oheb on the Kimmy. You see what Naz did there? He went to the left first and we saw already out of vision of Oheb he went to the right a little bit to the right and Oheb kind of double read that yep and because of that read he was able to get the kill man yeah, small small stuff right like mind games upon here mind comes games. wait I, think, I don't think he's gonna he's commit gonna go to for this. It. is he actually gonna commit he goes Whoa! in oh! he why he's coming in and he knows that he's probably gonna go down here, but Aqua and Naz trying their best. What can Wise do here? He might just win in there for the points, but hold on, Aqua's in trouble. Baiting, he's waiting. Okay, he pulls enough aggro to yeah. him, and again, they're able to convert Blue some turrets for that. I have a question. If he killed those mini Galoos, does that count as that? I don't think so. And uh, That would be so weird, right? That would be so weird and so broken. <laughs> That'd be way too many stacks. <laughs> well, I, That's way too many stacks. I, I am gonna report that if ever that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Fun stuff here for Blacklist. They seem to be uh, a little bit more aggressive, more uh, willing to take risks at this point. Uh, even with Wise diving straight into the base, that's that's not common here. I mean, given that though, it's still 4-4 four four, and the gold lead isn't that huge. RSG definitely isn't out of this. I mean, they just need to start focusing on some objectives. But at the same time, they're, they're, I mean, even with Iaknu on the carry pick, definitely needs time and right now he's having such a hard time just getting the items that he needs because yes the lead isn't that big for black international but the way that they're rotating around the map and and putting pressure where they need to is what's causing rsg kind of a hard time and again if this turtle this third turtle goes over to blacklist it's even going to put them even further behind for rsg well behind is i think where rsg can actually play strongly against uh, Blacklist, especially when Blacklist least expects it. So they do have the hero. Yep, they're trying. They actually. Okay, the turtle, the turtle is actually <laughs> taken by what? Haji. And there was How? only. I mean, there was only, what, three members Ooh. there for Blacklist. It just Wasn't catch Haji a break. in the mid? <laughs> was that an o Breath of the Ocean? That uh, might have been a breath of the Might have been. Because Haji was on lane. Yeah, and here, Demon Kites in trouble. The heart guard coming out, but it might not, it's not going to be enough because lane. Wise takes him out. And look at Edward, fully buffed and stacked. And they're going to be working on the bottom turret. There's also just a bunch of pressure on the top side of the map as well for RSG. Oh. I'm going to have to check some replays. Blue team turret on, has been destroyed. Blacklist definitely on a strong tempo here and maximizing the Kimmy uh -oh. early. Naf gets eaten up with the Daytona, gets thrown in the wall, the kill going over to Wise. Wise is going to be working on this orange buff, Edward still just causing panic here in the jungle, and they're just taking the resources from RSG. Yep, and right now even the Benedetta of the Kai here can't really go toe-to-toe -to -toe against this all just. Blue team turret it's over time at this point. Yeah. And they're, they're going to be just grouping up. This is Kimi and Rafaela, so strong when it comes to the mid game. As they can take down turrets so easily, they can also take the lords easily. And guess what? They're also taking the uh, opponent's uh, purple buff easily. As uh, Kimmy was able to take that one out. Why still has his own purple buff in their side of the jungle, so... I mean, it's, everything's working for Blacklist, yeah. It's one of those team compositions with Blacklist that once they start to snowball, it just kind of... It just kind of grows into a very crazy snowball for RSG. And uh, right now, they don't have an answer because every member of Blacklist pretty much just is too much to handle. And the problem is with, with RSG, yes, they definitely have 
you know, Aqua there, Iaknu, but Demon Kite, I mean, he's 0, 2, and 0. He's not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. And Iaknu doesn't have the itemization to even do much damage to the front line of Blacklist, so yeah. RSG Ooh. definitely has some trouble here. At this point, oh my god, this malefic roar just got completed for <laughs> the all just, ah. Uh, uh, at this point, we're all just waiting, I think, for RSG to complete Yaknu's at least further uh -oh. fourth item before we go. At that point, Blue team he's the only one who's going to be able to do damage. Even Demon Kai right now is actually having some trouble. Yeah, Demon Kai having some trouble. Haji might even just give him trouble with that orange buff down there, while the rest of Blacklist is here, giving a hard time for the purple buff for Yaknu. But hold on, they're not done yet. He's going to give up the orange buff over to Haji. They're going to try to stay together because that's pretty much all RSG can do. Blacklist International might look for a go signal here as they all wait up. There you go. Edward backing off as well and you still have Y sitting at the bottom yeah so much freedom for this all just like that's been the key in this whole game no one has been able to put any pressure on this all just whatsoever and now I think uh, it's gonna be so critical Ooh. for Nats to find a good position like he's, he's the only key here he has to find a way to get the KB off position he has to maybe force uh, force a big fight or, I don't know, it's just so difficult for me to find the win position the here that can allow RSG an yeah. easy victory. Everything's going to be a little bit uphill here. This is this is hard. I mean, I was talking just a few minutes ago about how the gold lead wasn't that much. Now well, it's seven. Now it's 7,000 gold in favor of Blacklist. They just got the Lord Oheb, I believe, picked up a Divine Glaive. Yeah, and that's right. And the damage is just going to be <laughs> too much. I mean, oh. it was too much earlier, and now it's even crazier for Blacklist. And look at this. The lanes are being frozen by Blacklist International. Only the top lane pushing at this point. And that gave, what, about 30 seconds to a minute for RSG to just stay in their side of the map. Yep, and considering the Lord is on the bot side, that's going to push a lot faster, which will keep catch up, rather, to the top lane push. And here's the mid as well. Like, that's perfectly synchronized there by Blacklist. Yeah, Blue they're just going to go ahead and push destroyed. every single lane of fight. RSG here. Going to be looking for a fight. Meanwhile, the Lord still marching at the bottom. Haji still surviving. He's okay. And now they're focusing on the, the bottom with the Lord. They're going to try to get at least one turret down here. Real world manipulation coming out. Oh, head got to get out of there. Naz looking for something, but he gets eaten up by Edward and thrown into the wall, but he finally gets taken down. Meanwhile, Wise also really low gets okay. taken out by Yaknu. This could be what RC needed, or is it just buying time? And Edward trying his best, but hold on, here comes the Demon damage. Kite. Will he be able to go in? There's absolutely no damage, though. Unfortunately for Demon Kite, he gets forced back. Blacklist, just too beefy. I was thinking that would have been a great mispositioning, but they couldn't take advantage of it because you guys said it. There was There's no, no damage. damage. There's no damage. I mean, when you're playing you know, a, a hero like that Benedetta, and you, you know I, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Like, What do you do? I'm pretty sure that favor was um, activated there by Oh My Venus, and of course a lot of defensive uh, items coming up from Blacklist. <gasps> okay. take, uh, take it back, he has some damage. Okay. He actually gets a kill there, Deem Kite's on the board, Wise joining the party. And again, their, their middle turret is still alive here, they're tier 1. But again, RSG, what can they do here? I mean, it's 6-7, to seven, the gold lead slowly closing down. Not so much the 7,000 anymore. Can RSG actually crawl their way back here, even with a real-time win rate of 36%? Yeah, absolutely. I think they did what they had to do here, catch Oheb in a very weird position where right. he wasn't completely flacked by two of the three members of Blacklist. They're doing it. I mean, yep. they know what they have to do, and they show that, you know, uh, yeah. they, these guys, we can take it. Like, we can take one or two of them. Like, not all of them, but <laughs> you know, one or two. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain now for RSG that what, what they needed to do is to just take down Blacklist International one after the other and just really don't don't even try to take down Edward I mean they do have the carry which is you know carry likes uh, dealing against the uh, very tank heroes but RSG I think they're gonna be having a bad time if they do go for Edward first so when they did go for Weiss and then Oheb those were those moments where they get kills. So for them, in order for them to get at least some amount of kills for against Blacklist International, 
target prioritization is on top of their, you know, check boxes. The question is, can RSG continue that on? And then the Lord is coming up here shortly. Well. Can they actually go face to face <laughs> with Blacklist International? Yeah. Nice to ask us this Can you question. not <laughs> ask us this question? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Again, Blacklist just has so much freedom on this fight. Despite the very low, by the way, very yeah. low uh, gold differential here, uh, they do still have a bigger advantage. They've got the firepower and on the right yep. people. There's an expression in the Philippines where in um, RSG is not playing against bots or not playing against AI. Mm -hmm. So. It's going to be very difficult because the thing is, Blacklist International, they're not the stubborn team that we know. If, they aren't. They, really not. If they, if they uh, if, you know, if they're misstep, they will not do that again. Or at least, no, no they'll, they'll try their damnedest not to do it again. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what they were doing in their previous wins. In this game, after losing Edward, uh, sorry, Oheb as well as Weiss, I will bet my life that it will not happen against Blacklist. Yep. I mean, one thing about RSG is they are slowly gaining some territory back here, yeah. which is allowing at least the buffs to go to the Yaknu or even Demon Kite. And slowly but surely, they're getting the items they need. So at some point, when it comes to if RSG can buy enough time to at least get itemization yeah. to go head to head with Blacklist, they might actually stand a chance here. Now the question is, Blacklist knows that. I don't know, man. And they're gonna go ahead and just reset no. the Lord. You said buying time. I think the longer this game yep. goes, it's just the Blacklist yep. game. And you can see that on the bottom side. Wise has not left that, by the way. <laughs> exactly. He has not left the bottom side, which means he's always threatening. Which yep. means this Lord is gonna be so difficult to scout out. Yeah. So what RSG can do is to force errors from Blacklist International. I know it's a difficult thing to do, but that, but what can, they can do is to Look kill. The Edward has to flicker out. That could be an error. Oh, Hold on, here comes Wise. Look at oh, the damage okay. forcing a flicker from a Yaknu. And the real world manipulation as well, while skirmish with Demon Kite and Haji goes on. And Demon Kite actually going to survive. Now they're for forcing Naz out. Haji, they disengage, actually, because everybody burned pretty much everything. The flickers are all out, too. <laughs> this is a reset, but great job by RSG actually surviving that. I mean, Wise came in, like we yeah. said, and they're still alive. It was a nice flicker over the wall for Yaku, but it could be too late because Blacklist is giving the go signal on this Lord. The question is, never mind. There's no question. They reset the Lord to go back for another day. The problem is, if that happens again, there's not going to be any flickers to save these heroes yep. anymore for RSG. So Blacklist, they know that they can go for it. Just yeah. waiting for a good timing, waiting for a good position for everybody. I mean, there's not many defenses against a stacked Aldus, and Flicker is one of the best ones. But hold on, Edward looking Ooh. to get an eat, eat it up here. Throws him in the wall. This could be down. There's the immortality being popped. They're going to eventually get a kill here on Naz. He goes down. Still working on the Lord, though. What can RSG do while Demon Kite's in the bottom of the map? It can't do much. Blacklist International. Edward's actually taking a lot of damage, though. Real world manipulation. Popping the immortality. Oh, my feet is still there. There's the winter <laughs> tranche. Oh, oh man. man. He finally goes down. Here comes Wise, though. Look at that damage. Oh, my he actually God, gets taken out. They're actually fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yaknu doing his best. Aqua, but he's taking so many hits from Oheb. And he's oh, going to go man. down. Triple kill for Oheb. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wipeout. Oh it's God. only a matter of time before Blacklist International takes game number two and takes the series. That would have been a nice opening there if they survived that one. Woo. They RSG, man. Almost. 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 Almost had, I mean, given the situation there. You got to commend them.